We are live. Yes, we are. Good morning. All right. Let's see who we get to hop on here. We're going to go to the GoTo Girl page. Make sure you're getting notified here. You are. You're following. That's what's up. Yes. You better be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're live. Looks like it's streaming good. Girl, I am so excited. I got so much stuff going wow. on. I cannot believe that uh, my radio show starts soon and I'm just like wow time flies good morning everybody hopping on what's up Texas Farmers Kitchen hey girl hey all right she was the first to comment this morning <laughs> I have a special guest on I always have special guests on Tuesday through Friday and today I've got someone new that you guys haven't met so we're going to talk to her and all about what she has going on good morning Mike Studebaker good morning, good morning. Rachel Yes, yes, jump in there. Say good, good morning. morning. You're allowed. You're allowed. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm gonna turn the volume down here so we can make sure we don't miss any uh comments. Mike says nice hair color. Thank you. Lori Finney did my hair. She's gonna be doing my eyebrows soon, so she's gonna microblade them. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. You're gonna get to see the blade live on camera. Oh. Like it's gonna be interesting. What's up, Liz Pacheco? Hi Liz. <laughs> Liz is already saying hi. How do you say your name again? Areli. Areli. Or we go easier, Arlie. Arlie. <laughs> like Charlie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Areli is on the show today and she's a local business owner. But before we let her talk, I want you guys to hit the hearts and give this video a share. Uh, she um, is here and ready to talk, but I want you guys to get this out for her. She's got a lot of cool stuff coming up and uh, we got a lot to talk about. Good morning, Beth. Beth, stay on to the end of this video because I'm going to talk a little bit about Poppy, okay? So if you can make it through this video, I know you've got a lot going on. I did want to talk about Poppy at the very end of this. And uh, I know Tequila Marys is watching, Sparkle's watching, Melissa. All right, enough about, enough about me. All right, so tell me, t I know who you are, but tell them who you are. So I'm Arely Savala. I am owner and operator to Luna's and Lely's ice cream truck here in town. Um, a little bit about that background. I just started off as a family business, but this year, 2023, has been blessing for me, a blessing for me. I was able to branch off from the family business and do it on my own. Um, I just recently got my LLC. Uh, so this past month has been working on my Facebook page. So if you do not follow me, Please go like and follow. It's Luna's and Lely's LLC Ice Creams here in town. Um, it has a cute little logo with popsicles, as you can see, like my little shirt. If you don't see the logos, you don't got the wrong, the right page. <laughs> <laughs> um, so a little bit about me with that business. It has given me the opportunity uh, to be able to work around my children's schedule with schooling, after school activities. Um, and I've gotten to see how the community has grown. Um, I have seen little kids buy their first ice cream bar for me, um, and now they're 10, 11 years old, still loyal customers with their family. Um, so that's very exciting. Thank you for following Luna's Ice Cream. That is my mother, uh, mother's uh, page. Mine will be Luna's and Lely's. Um, I don't know if we can tag that on there. Okay, yeah, we um, can definitely. I'm going to let you tag that. Ooh, I don't so, know it's cool. Oh, my God. Everybody needs <laughs> Facebook lessons. Like, right? I still want to uh, do a an event where I teach people how to use Facebook for their business because yes. there's a lot of people that don't know. So, uh, guys, yeah, I met your sister, and then I met you. Yes. And it's really cool because y'all have, like, this family, you know, ice cream um uh, what is it called? What is that called? Dynasty of ice cream trucks in Wichita yes. Falls. So your mom started it. You're kind of branching off to do your own thing. They still do it. And so y'all kind of split up different areas and different things like that. So it's, it's, you can catch them at different businesses. Now y'all go set up at, you go set up at events and stuff, yes. correct? So I set up at the art walks. Um, you will see me this art walk May 4th, um, right here on, what is it? Ninth? Uh, it's right across, it's on 8th Street, right across. So, right across from Big Blue, the yes. park where you always see Nortenos on wheels. Did I, I sound so country. Nortenos. <laughs> <laughs> Nortenos on wheels. You see them there. So, oh, and good morning, Maria. Good Hi. morning, sister girl. <laughs> right? All right. So, you're going to be set up there uh, during the art walk. 
Correct. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, and it's crazy because I noticed that uh, y'all have like chips and snacks and stuff like that yes. as well as ice cream. Yes. So, I carry over 70 varieties of different ice creams along with snacks um, and drinks. We also, I was also able to do a collaboration with Sinful Sweets. Um, so, you can find her chamoy candy gummies in um, my ice cream truck along as my other family members ice cream trucks um, they are delicious if you have not tried them so please please stop any of us we have them on stock and we always sell out of our products um, that's what's up y'all really do I, I love I like literally who doesn't love the whole vibe of an ice cream truck <laughs> like seriously who does not love like just hearing that music and it makes you think of being a kid in summertime and stuff like that so, I mean, it's really, really neat. Now, this is a bigger business, I think, than people understand. Like, this is all you, like, like literally, you're building this into, I guess, you're separating off. Your family's had this ice cream business for years. So, this is a living. This is, yes. this is not just, like, you drive around, make a little bit of money, and go home. There's a lot of work in it, right? Yes, it is. Um, as far as making that business work it's a lot of time consuming um, we have to do inventory if not every two days it's a daily thing uh, making sure we have all y'all favorites in stock um, for instance I also partnered up with Sunday Elementary where I take my ice cream truck once a month so that all the students can enjoy the goodies um, and so for those days it inventory is just a lot um, and then Thankfully, um, Zadie let me do that. Part of my thank you back was donating um, a couple months ago some treats for the whole staff. Um, and they were able to try our new Chamoy ice cream bar along with our mango with chili. Chamoy chin. ice cream bar? Where's my I'm just kidding. She brought me <laughs> coffee. So I'm good. I'm good. So, <laughs> I'm giving her a hard time. <laughs> so don't be afraid to stop us. We carry a big selection of treats anywhere from sweet to sour to spicy. Um, we are still working on finding a tasteful sugar-free. Unfortunately, they're not as tasteful, so um, they, they don't I know, sell I as much. I sugar-free, y'all. I had a protein shake for dinner last night. Can y'all hit the heart? <laughs> because we're talking about ice cream, and all I ate last night was protein shake. And about 10 o'clock at night, I was dying. My stomach was growling. It was making, I didn't even have tequila yesterday. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm going to drink water and protein, my God. And we're talking about ice cream. But I do have a really yummy coffee. She had messaged me and she said, would you like a coffee? I'm like, yes, yes, please. So that's that's really exciting. So, guys, uh, we're going to circle back around here in a second and ask her more questions. If you have questions, put those in the comments. Uh, got, I've got a lot going on, so I'm going to try to throw some things in here real quick. And then we're going to go back and ask her of some of your questions. So, Beth says, yummy mango. Yes, Rick is saying he loves my hair. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. So, uh, it's still a lot for me. She did a great job. Mentally, I'm just like, wow, I don't recognize myself. So, <laughs> it's like, it's super crazy. Uh, so, anyways, guys, uh, now, there is a, a lot of events coming up this weekend. There is an event, uh, oh gosh, what is it? The Bullies versus Cars, I believe it is. And that's going to be at Harley Davidson. You can catch local vendors out there. Uh, they're going to have all kinds of uh, different vendors, dogs, cars, motorcycles, I think the low riders. Uh, I really, really love those guys. They're going to be out there supporting Music Save My Life, which is a program for kids to learn how to perform, write, and uh, do music. So that is really cool. Yes, that car show is tomorrow. Is It's tomorrow. Oh, my God. I will be in Henrietta tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I'll be at the Loaded Brush. She does art classes, splattering, all kinds of cool stuff. So that's going to be neat. So we have a splatter party. If you want to go out there in the morning, there's a go-to girl meet and greet. If you're a business in Henrietta, I highly encourage you to come meet with me because I'm doing some special pricing right now only on the radio show. I think once that takes off, it's going to be crazy. A lot of people recognize my voice, and when they hear me come on, they listen. Yes. I, I noticed that yesterday. I went to uh, talk to someone and literally they were like, I know your voice. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yes, I heard your commercial on Jack FM. And so I literally got the chills 
because I was like, thank God, because I always worry that it's not working. Like, I always wonder what's working for my businesses because people invest in me. They spend money with me. So that's a big deal. Another thing I really, really, while well, I've got so many of you on here, we're about to circle back. I'm going to talk to you about some of the events you're doing because you've got an event that you're going to be at next weekend. Yes. But I do want to mention, uh, everybody knows Beth Short, a good friend of mine. She worked at the Deli Planet for years. Beth and I ran around doing videos. We have done the silliest stuff together. Um, she's, you know, met a lot of you through my events at the Deli Planet. Uh, her dad passed away. And I was really, really just, I loved Poppy. Uh, I really, really did. So I'm looking for a place, whether it's like, you know, maybe Tequila Mary's, maybe, uh, you know, I'm going to try to get with Big Blue, the park, different place, somewhere to have a get together for the family. Everyone Beth is calling, nobody is answering. And I'm busy working and it's hard for me to be able to pick up the phone and make a lot of calls. So if you guys can help find a place, I know Rustic Heart, I would... She's got something booked next week. Otherwise, I'd call Deb because, you know, Deb is my go-to. Uh, but seriously, if you know anybody that has an event center, uh, I will definitely make sure that I we take care of them. I mean, if there's some money that needs to be paid, that's, you know, that's that's okay. We just, we need to know, uh, we need to get a hold of somebody and somebody get back. So I didn't want to forget to talk about that. Put your prayers out there. Freaking, literally, that's my girl. I had to mention that this morning, so we'll talk about that again in another video. But um, let me tell you what, this is uh, my guest today, so I'm going to circle back around, <laughs> drop the ice cream truck back yes, around back. here, yeah. yes. So, all right, so Arelli is here today with Luna's and Lely's, Lely's yes. ice cream, okay. You can find that on Facebook. Now, you're going to be at an upcoming event next weekend, too, right? Yes. So, tell me a little bit about... What you're going to be doing. So, May 6th, you guys are all invited, if you have not seen um, posts about it already, uh, for the Loco for Cinco on May 6th. It's going to go from 2 to 10 p.m. You will be able to find me there with all our local treats as long, along with other local uh, vendors. Uh, they will have some wrestling, some car shows. Um, I know the Savala Heritage girls are going to be dancing there. One of my little girls is there. My niece as well, so go and support um, um, also DJ Tito is going to be in the mix. Uh oh, doing the music. not Tito. I love him. I've yes. known him since he was a little kid. Literally, <laughs> he still looks like a little kid to me, but that's because I'm old. So when I see him, we're just like, hey, 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 what's up? Hey, what's up, kid? <laughs> like, I've known his dad, Margarito, forever. So it's just like time flies, literally. I've watched those kids grow up, like, seriously. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be boxing live, all kinds of things coming up. I know if Tequila Marys is still watching, I'm not sure if they are. But uh, there is also a drag show next Saturday night. Yes. There's a drag show at Tequila Mary's. So be sure to follow them because they're always doing the most. Like, literally, <laughs> TJ has, like, everything from dwarf wrestling to drag shows to... He's doing a lot to really keep it entertaining and give somebody shows and entertainment, not just going out and sitting around drinking and stuff. So that's going to be really, really cool. Uh, not that sitting around and drinking is not fun. Not saying that at all. Relaxing. <laughs> just relaxing and dancing, <laughs> all of that good stuff. But that is really, really super cool. We're going to read some more of these comments real quick. Uh, I guess Angela is probably going to be at Loco for Cinco, definitely. Uh, Beth, love you, girl. I'm gonna. We're gonna work on this. We're gonna try to figure something out, sister. I love you so much. Ooh, I um, love Lala's kitchen. It is delicious. Oh, and Lala's. Yeah, I just ran into her. She said she was gonna be there. Be sure to tag her. Like Nora is such a hardworking woman. Mike says, "Where is lunch today?" I'm actually going with a friend. I'm going with a friend. Otherwise, I'd probably go with you, Mike. Was that an invite? <laughs> <laughs> Mike loved Lala's. We went out there. Uh -huh. So, guys, literally, let's get this out here for her again. It's really, really cool because you know I met your sister. We became friends. Then I met you. Y'all have your own things kind of going. Um, and you're kind of branching off. Yes. And so, you know, you can find their, their family business all around town. And they do a lot of different things in the community. So you can follow her page, check her out, see where she's at, and kind of support. So definitely be sure. And we're going to tag it. I was trying to tag it. So it's Luna. Uh, yeah. Connor. I think because Is I'm on my comma? own page. Yes. 
Okay, well, we can comment then since you're from the page. Yes. Hey. All right, that, so there we go. Yes. So right there, she just commented. Actually, I commented for her on right? her phone. Because that I was, can't figure that it out. That was her, yeah. <laughs> and it was crazy because I have your sister going on the radio with me pretty soon. She had yes. worked yet, like, two days she ago. She has been working so, very hard to get... Um, my parents' page to grow a little bit more. Um, she's doing wonderful. She will be at the Bully versus um, Cars Car Show. Well, one of the ice cream trucks will be there along with Thor, or the the one for Thor. Um, somebody did mention it, so we will also have a truck out there. Um, as for me, go like and follow my page. I have a giveaway going on. Ooh. Yes, exciting, right? All you have to do is like and follow my page. And comment or tag five people on our giveaway post. There's a video link to it. One okay. lucky person will win over seventy dollars worth of free ice cream. Oh, yes. Yum. Who doesn't want a bunch of ice cream and for free, right? Yeah. Um, so please go like, follow, tag five friends. For every five friends that you tag on that giveaway post, it's another entry. There's no limit. So please. That's what's up. Do that. Yes. That's what's up. Yum. It's a good oh my God. way to try all of know, ice cream. I want to know in the comments, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? What is your, if you were to see the ice cream truck, an ice cream that they carry on the truck, obviously, you don't say like something from. Choco Tacos. You, I know, we miss oh, the Choco Tacos. Oh, I know, Choco Tacos. Why did they get rid of that? I have no idea. It was a good seller. Yes, it was a, on the little pricey side, but it was so worth it. <sighs> You know, I mean, you know, who doesn't like tacos? Oh my god, <laughs> after y'all answer, I'm gonna wait till y'all quit answering and then try to guess my favorite ice cream. I literally, to be honest, I don't eat a lot of sweets, I really mm. don't eat a lot of sweets. Uh, but I'll just tell y'all in a minute because y'all are all uh, comedy. snow cones, yes, yeah, those are a big popular one. You sell snow cones on ice cream, yes. So we have three different snow cones right now, we're sticking to bubble gum since the season is just starting. But later on, you will see our sour snow cones and our berry mixes. Um, usually, it's like three to four different ones. Um, but you know both that, of them you know are my favorite. Y'all know what is so funny? And I don't tell this to a lot of people because I'm a country bumpkin. Like, I grew up in a town with eight streets. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was it. Mm. And then around, there was little houses all around. It was a very, very small town. My graduating class was like 31 people. And I would watch movies like Friday and different movies, and I would see like ice cream trucks. <laughs> I literally thought they were just something in the movies. Like, that's how country. I grew up so naive. Like, I was like, wouldn't that be really cool? Because I'd never seen one. Oh. I, I did not know it was a real. I thought it was just like a joke. Funny like, story to that. I had a customer actually say that. Because their grandchildren were not used to ice cream trucks either. So when they heard one, they got excited. They're like, hey, it's an ice cream truck. Seeing it on movies, TV shows. But the grandpa said, no, that means they're sold out. The music always oh, means they're sold out. Oh, no. And I was like, that was so mean. That hurt. was so right? heartless. Like one. Don't do that. Yeah, don't no. do that. We're always on. <laughs> right? Literally, that is crazy. That is crazy. Wow. Oh, so with another note, I do want to let y'all know. That I am the only ice cream truck in town that takes TANF benefits, also known as EBT cash. So, if you like wow. my page, yes, you guys know I take EBT cash benefits only or TANF benefits. Either um, People know them as either one. Do you one. accept that in addition to credit cards? Yes, and Visa, Cash, cash and... at Venmo. Cash is always good. You know? <laughs> you get Venmo for ice cream? Yes. Oh my God. Have, yes, I take Venmo cash at Sna um, the EBT cash, TANF, and credit cards. All major credit she's cards like, and MasterCards. Any way you want to pay me, yes. I got you. <laughs> <That's> what, <laughs> yes. She's like, we we going to make sure. We're going to make sure uh, you get your goodies. That is crazy. <laughs> so is the EBT like food stamps? Is uh, it not the food stamps. I am working on that. That permit's a little bit more tricky to get. But if everything works out, that will be coming into play for the summer. Well, that helps low-income families. I mean, if they don't have money, you know, and their kids are like, I want ice cream. Yes. You know, like, that'll help them out. They may whip out that card. Yes. Get you some ice cream. That's what's up. Definitely. <laughs> That's what's up. That is cool. That's a lot of hoops to jump through, I'm sure. Like, I can't even imagine trying to get that stuff set up. She does. Not food stamps. So, it is not food stamps. It's the cash benefit uh, portion of that, um, of those government benefits. 
Let's see here. The ice cream truck that goes by not all, now always turns the music off in front of my house because there's only two people on my street, but I have four kids. <gasps> Bad! Oh. We send me a message and I'll be like, make sure. And are you in Burke or Wichita Falls? You don't have to put your street. Yes. <laughs> but y'all don't do that. Yes. No. Don't do. Shame. Don't be turning that music off. <laughs> right now. So a benefit of following either one of our pages is that we do have our phone numbers up there. Um, three of the other ice cream trucks for my family's business does have the Snapchat location, so you can always locate them what? like that. Shut yes. up. That was a new thing uh, my little sister came up with. So that's a good fun way to find them. Um, as for me, usually I stick to a certain route, um, since I have other plans coming up. <laughs> I'm going to turn you know? off the location, so I always yes. know where Maria's at. Yes. <laughs> yes. Maria, I know where you're at. I'm going to come know? sneak and up with that And you can only truck. see their location <laughs> while they're working. Okay. Only while they're working. Darn, I'm going to stalk yes. Maria now. So no, no stalking. I'm just kidding. I'm just but, kidding. Love you, Maria. <laughs> but you can always send us a text message with your address, um, those phone numbers are on our pages. That's cool. Uh, Luna's and Lali's LLC ice cream or Luna's ice cream. Um, make sure you send us your full address a lot quicker and say, hey, we hear you. Can you please come back? And we would be more than happy to turn around and make sure that you guys get your goodies. Um, we do have several customers that, unfortunately, because they have dead end streets or something, mm -hmm. um, we can't really make it all the way in. <laughs> but if they shoot us a message... We go and park in their driveway. That's, um, you know, as long yeah. as they're okay with it and they're more than happy mm. to get their treats. Sorry, I'm over here burping. <laughs> but maybe it's because they know it's your house and they're like, bye. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> yeah. I got to make best smile. That's yes. my girl. I love her so very much. Yes, but yes. if she messages, we can definitely make sure that um, we can get an ice cream yeah. truck to your house. Yeah. Get one over there. We have there. four in town. So, she'd be you know. like, now I'm broken. you are all showing up at one time. You're like, hey, we said we were going to bed. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, that checks out. Yeah, they're like, that's Beth's house. Bye. <laughs> yes. That um, is wild. I love her. Love yes. Her. So I do private parties. Um, I can work oh. with any budget. Um, we can work around the menu. Some people have um, limited their menu. Some have opened menus. Um, I do have some... Private parties coming up. All you have to do is give me at least a 24-hour notice. Um, but we could be, um, we can work something out always. We do birthday parties, fundraisers, charities, um, you name it. You have a special event, contact me. I'll be more than happy to work with you. That is what up. That is what's up. So, yes. Yes, church events. Yes. All of it. I've all done church up. events as well in the, last year. Um uh, I don't know the name off the top of my head because it was last year, um, but it was over there past McNeil Street. <laughs> um, they had a, an orchestra for the children, um, so they treated all the children and everything, the guests, and that was very exciting. I also do company employee appreciation parties. I have some of those coming up as well. Um so, like I said, I do all types of events. She will come and yes. sell some ice cream, basically. You just yes, pretty get a hold of her. She's going to fling that ice cream out the window. We're about like, that hustle. I know. If you, want to, if you want some ice cream at your location, that's what's up. What's up, Donna Benz? Good morning, hopping on. Rachel says, awesome. That's what's up. So, you can check out her page. I'm going to comment again uh, with her page information. Uh, give me one second. Hey, everyone. So, you can go over and follow uh, her Facebook page. And so, uh, how much is it for a private party? Someone's asking, is there a cost? Uh, there is no reservation fee as for me. Um, and like I said, I can work with a small budget to as big as you want. Honestly, anything in between, I am happy to work with any budget. Um, my thing is because I am branching off from the family business, making it my own. Um, I have that where I do not charge fees, and I'm happy to be working with anybody. The Loaded Brush as well. Just message me on my page, Luna's and Lely's. Um, Go to Girl Just Commented again. So you can have that page, and I'd be more than happy to assist you with the events for your children. Yeah, it says they should do food truck at Pritt Ford and should see about bringing the ice cream. They should! Food yes. Truck Fridays anywhere would be great. Yes. They Oh, they do Food Truck Fridays. That's awesome. Okay. I didn't know. What's up with that? 
there we go. I'll be happy to go. Yeah, yeah, I mean, even just factories, like yes. all the little factory guys come out like, hey, I want some ice cream. I'm just kidding. Yes, no, I've <laughs> had everybody, everybody could get on that bus. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want ice cream? Yes, Northside Grill has booked me for employee appreciation. They were Yum. super happy. McDonald's, uh, the Take 5 oil change. Um, oh, my goodness. There's so many other companies that have reached out to me. Um, to show appreciation to their employees. So like I said, I do all types of events. I've had birthdays for little ones, for big adults too, because, you know, we're, hey, we're kids I'm inside. Hey, I have wine <laughs> in one hand, ice cream in the other. There honey. you go. Or, you know, <laughs> that's what's up. Literally, you can't miss out with that. Are you the one that goes to the school? Yes. So if you're a PTA or you're another school, I already have all my backgrounds. I'm still waiting to uh, partner up with other local schools. Um, but I am the one that goes to Zundi. Wow, all right. So be sure to stay tuned. I've got so much coming up this weekend, guys. Saturday, I'm going to be in Henrietta. Who's the, who wants to go? Me. Go to Henrietta. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be at the Loaded Brush. You can go to the Loaded Brush for details. So I know she's still watching. Tracy is like, man, she's like my go-to. That girl has been following everything. And I know she's got to be watching right now. Also, don't forget, I have a mixer coming up. That is the 18th. If you want to come out and uh, have some drinks, bring some business cards, that's going to be really, really cool. You can find that event on my page. Uh, there's a ton of local events cracking off. There's a car show tomorrow. Uh, you can check out Texas Legacy Car Club, uh, Wichita Falls. You can check them out. Rick, if you could tag them or tag Michael and them, that would be real. I always tag the wrong page for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with my tagging abilities. I'm the go-to girl. I should be able to do all kinds of stuff, but I don't know what's going on with that. Be sure to tag them. Um, again, guys, I want to remind you about what I'm trying to do with Beth. Uh, Beth, I, if you'll remind me this afternoon, I'm definitely going to see what we can do, where we can find, uh, because I want to be there for that as well. Uh, so, guys, be sure to share, support local. Now, I'm going to bring up, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the last, is this the last weekend for the fair? Oh, my God. Yes. Mm, I tell you, I'm such a busy bee. Like, I can only keep up with so many events. But one thing you can do is you can now find, if you miss an episode, a featured episode, I'm going to be doing featured episodes on the radio, you can check it out on Jack FM. It'll air on Sundays. It'll go on their podcast. You can thumb through the GoTo Girls. I'll have my own podcast on their website so you can go back and watch them there instead of like digging through my page yes. yeah you can find them on youtube as well pretty soon so you definitely want to get on as a featured guest you want to get on the radio with me uh, i am booking far out right now so it's crazy uh yes thank you beth i uh, also have commercial space ads let me tell you you want to get on this it's no contract you get to do it for three months pick your months that you really want to hit hard or whatever Get on the radio with an ad. Uh, you're not going to get pricing anywhere else. Literally, I guarantee that you're not going to get lower pricing on radio ads from anyone else in North Texas. You're just not. It's not possible. There's no contract. There's no huge upfront fee, but there is a minimum, and there's a three-month. It's a three-month minimum. You just pay each month. So we can work something out. You can text me. Now, I will tell you, the best way to reach me, guys, is text. Uh, the best way to reach me is text messaging, shoot me your name, your number, what you want to talk about, that type of thing, because I stay extremely busy, busier now more than ever. So I think, and who are our winners, Loaded Brush? Who is going with me this Saturday? Let me know. So again, be sure to share, like, and follow Le uh, Luna's and Lely's Ice Cream on Facebook. You can check them out, and uh, you can also join their Giveaway, you have a giveaway on yes. your page. And I see you so grab this a card. is my little business card. I don't know if I can do it. That is my logo for my Facebook page. If you don't see that logo, it's not the right page. It would probably be my mother's page. Um, again, follow either one. Mine, I do have the giveaway for up to $70 um, of free ice cream going on for May 7th. So like, follow my page, and tag five friends. Every five friends you tag is another entry. Um, again, that is Luna's and Lely's LLC ice cream page only. Um, but the other page does have other giveaways and other events as well. So please go like and follow them as well. Um, 
Perfect. And yeah. yeah. Oh, and speaking of giveaways, Eddie Mandela and I have decided that we're changing up the giveaway on Eddie's page. If you instead of doing a pick the name for the radio show, instead of doing that, we're doing a Mother's Day gift basket. If you'd like to put something in there, like a gift certificate or something like that, local businesses can give me something to put in that and we'll do a huge giveaway. Because Eddie Mandela actually came up with um, That's What's Up with the Go-To Girl. And I really like that. So I think I'm either going to keep that or say What's Up Wichita Falls with the Go-To Girl. So I'm not sure either one or the two, but Eddie, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go with Eddie's name instead of us doing a name contest for the radio show. So literally, literally, okay, so Maria was one of the winners and Morgan was one of the winners on that. Okay, so just making sure that I know for this Saturday what we got going on. Uh, and we may have to do Maria's a different day to take her out there, but that's totally okay. Dan's like, it's 8 o'clock. All right, guys, <laughs> check out her page. Stay tuned for upcoming events. Stay tuned for me. I got a lot to talk about, a lot of guests, and I'll be live again tomorrow. So, so thank tune you. in. Thank All you. All right, smooches. Thank you.